Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of White Day. The bad news is that I need to go right where the janitor is standing. However, can I attract him? Ugh, this idiot. I am curious about something, though. I haven't really checked other parts of this building, and I'd like to take a little bit of an opportunity to do that now. See, this is where I came in. I don't need to go there, but, yeah, art room. I just never opened this. See, what I would like if I could find it, jeez is uh, another pen that I can save with. I would very much like that, but I suppose we can go ahead and read a little bit of a note right now. World Time Zones. About the world time. At the end of the 19th century, Great Britain's Greenwich, yeah, Greenwich Meridian was set as the Prime Meridian during the International Meridian Conference in Washington, D.C. Using the Greenwich Meridian as the standard, an hour was added or subtracted for every 15 degrees depending on the direction, east or west. After this, the whole world began using GMT, Greenwich Meridian Time, as standard time, and the time difference is as follows. Local time for each city. Greenwich is plus zero. Washington, D.C. is minus three. Moscow is plus three. Beijing is plus eight. For example, if it's 2 a.m. in Greenwich, then it's 11 p.m. in Washington, D.C. and 10 a.m. in Beijing. This will be relevant a bit later. What? Uh oh, I think we're gonna get jump scared. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. There it is. God damn. Also, those random little miscellaneous weights that I found throughout the game, apparently this is where they're relevant? Who would have guessed? I thought it was some, like, end game thing, but... Nope. <laughs> Okay, so why does it matter about the time? Here's what I need to do. We have the computer lab, the art studio, the language lab. Well, I don't need to go into the language lab. The earth sciences lab. However... Yeah, there's also the Occult Club, which very unfortunately is around where the janitor is. I don't like that part. But what I need to do is mess around with the clocks. So why don't I go ahead and take a look at where I am right now, right? This is, um... Well, I'm right by the art studio. It's a picture of the Kremlin in Moscow. So that is irrelevant to my interest right now. The bad news for me is that I really think the thing I need to check is where the janitor is. So let's check the, um, the Earth Science Lab. Oh no, this is Greenwich. Oh, this is good, okay. So that means, wait, the janitor? Oh, uh, okay. I guess I'll go downstairs. Maybe I'll deal with the clocks later? I don't freaking know. Crap, couldn't shut the door. And he keeps going like, hmm? Like I just about evaded him. Oh, Jesus, okay. Man, this janitor can bite me. Oh, that's a bad room to pick. 
Joke's on you, buddy. I have a free emergency kit. And what the hell, tranquilizer. I want to go in that dead end to the right for uh, the lights puzzle, but I also want to go into the various other rooms for the clock puzzle. So I don't freaking know, man. I don't know, you think we're doing the lights? Maybe we'll do the light puzzle? He's coming out, let's see what we make of this. He's probably gonna just wreck me. Man, he is right here, this sucks. Well, so much for the clocks, I guess I'll do this now. Oh, I guess I'm just dead. Well, we'll see what happens. If he comes in here, I'm gonna have to scramble again. But at least I have prepared the light puzzle? Eh? Wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, so clocks or here? The problem is, I believe it was the... Where was I? The Earth Science Lab for the clock puzzle? But I also need to, like, I, I need to go there because that has Greenwich time, but I also need to do classrooms. And that's the worst. I see, and he's coming this way, too. So I'm kind of stuck. Oh, he left. Okay. Then we're doing the clock puzzle, I guess. I heard my footsteps. I just can't catch a break. It's mm. fine. It's all right, I can do the classrooms at this rate. Okay, now for the part I hate. If I can find the note, this might be good. Oh wait, no, maybe the school documents? That's right, we wanted to turn the lights on in rooms 1, 5, 8, 10 and 12. Oh my god. <laughs> it is incredible how much I don't want to do this because that's creepy crawly ghost. So, oh not backpack, uh, map. So one, five, ugh, this is gonna be so much janitor chasing and so much spooky ghost, but I gotta run. God damn it, and he hears me again, this freaking dirtbag. Pray I don't get caught. It's fine. I meant by the crawly ghost. I don't even mind the janitor. I really don't. Oh, uh, whoops. This is six, right? Okay, five. Please, 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 please. I'm out. It's fine. There we go. Okay, 1 and 5 are done. Now it's 8, 10, and 12, which are on upper floors. But this janitor has, like, 
it's not the eyes of a hawk, and I can't say ears of a hawk, but he has crazy hearing, man. I have to run to actually escape him, but running makes him know where I am. Okay, it was 8, and then around a 10. This is the part where I get scared because, you know, spooky ghost. Wait, is this 8? No, one more door. Oh, I did not want to run into the room. That's fine. Uh, tens in the corner. But the janitors are up my ass. I'm, I'm not even gonna... Oh, I'm gonna die, I guess. I don't know how much a tranquilizer is gonna actually heal me, but... Oh, boy. Well, I, I did room 8, that's fine. Now I just need to do uh, 10 and 12. Or I could work on the clock puzzle. It just really, really pisses me off that the um, this is a very one-way building. Whereas in the original White Day, I could um, just hop down a floor from the third or fourth, whatever it was. Mmm, delish. It's so good I could go for another one. Love me some casual food. Now where's that janitor? Is he even here anymore? No, he might have left me alone. Which means, maybe I could check the Earth Science Lab. Get a load of that clock. Was this the one? This was Greenwich? Okay. And the time is one o'clock. So now what I have to do is align every other clock with Greenwich time. So Art Studio is just across the hall. Not a problem. This was Moscow? Okay, so this, this was... I'll check the note just one more time, but I think I have this. Yeah, Moscow's plus three hours, so let's set this to four o'clock. Boom. You get the idea. And now there's earth science, art... I want the computer lab as well. And this is Beijing, Tiananmen Square. So I want to set this up eight hours. So one o'clock becomes uh, nine o'clock. And then lastly, unfortunately, I gotta go back and meet our good friend the janitor because we're going to take a look at the Occult Club. Oh, this could be good. If he's going upstairs, then that gives me the excuse to go downstairs so long as he doesn't turn around. The problem is he could very easily turn around. Oh, whoops. See, at this point, we're at sort of a crossroads. If he had been downstairs, I would have just gone upstairs for more lights. There's a chance I might actually get away with this. And you know what? I'll do I'll do us one better. I might actually just run to the occult club to attract his attention, to bring him down to me, so I could run upstairs to deal with the lights. I still need to go to classrooms 10 and 12. In any case, the last time zone should be Washington, D.C., so I want to be um, three hours less, quote, less. 
So that'll be 10 o'clock. Maybe I'll run around after I deal with this problem. And hope to god the crawly ghost isn't in here for some reason. Don't know why I would be, but I'm still hoping. Also a document. Nameless document. There used to be a pond at that spot before the new building was built. Of course there were rumors that the pond was haunted. According to local legend, it was a cursed pond. Or cursed. And the souls of the people who drowned in that pond were trapped in it. The only way an imprisoned soul can escape the pond... Could was to drag another soul into that pond. That's why the ghosts of that pond were more bloodthirsty, killing more people. At its worst, the pond claimed a life every month. The school warned the students about the pond, but the drowning did not stop. Some people wanted to fill in the pond. Pond, 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 pond. But the chairman always decided against it. The chairman said that the pond allowed the feng shui to flow well. I mean, how important is feng shui when people are dying, you know? Well, I later found out just how important feng shui is. Anyways... Because of fierce protest, it was finally decided that the pond was to be filled in. But on the first day of filling in the pond, the machine operator died of a heart attack. After that, the school had to hold a purification ritual every year for the pond. Time passed, and the new building was built over the spot where the pond used to be. No more rituals. Lately, though, there are rumors that ghosts are showing up again. <laughs> yeah. They say that a girl's ghost, drenched in water, wearing an old school uniform that can only be seen in the history room, is being spotted. Huh. She's got to be one of the ghosts of a student that died in the pond. You might ask why a pond ghost would appear when the pond is gone. Well, it's hard to explain, but this world and the underworld exist in the same space. What does that mean? It means that humans and ghosts occupy the same space, but in different, for lack of a better word, dimensions. You could also compare it to radios. What's wrong with, what's going on with that radio? Uh, each of them giving off its own frequency, and that's why humans and ghosts cannot influence each other. Man, they kill me. So even if there is a building built over where the pond was in this world, that pond could still be there in the underworld's dimension. I will try to find out the truth of all this today. I was finally able to create the Occult Club. The teachers hate it. They say I'm wasting my precious youth. Even though people find my club weird, my club is not a joke. My god, dude. Pronouns. Pond, pond, pond. My club, my club. The new building, the new building. The chairman, the chairman. We investigate and research the supernatural phenomena in that uh, that cannot be explained by modern science. Naturally, the quickest way of proving our worthy cause would be finding a ghost. Just by sheer luck, I've recently come upon something called, oh no, Elrod. Oh boy, more on that later. Which has magical powers. The person who found it told me that it can detect ghosts, as well as be used as a dowsing rod. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, just another document. Okay. Oh, we found the second one of these. This is the first investigation on the Yin Yang Token. The Yin Yang Token is a mirror used in Taoism that has a bronze mirror in the center. It has... <laughs> so Taoism has a bronze mirror in the center? <laughs> it has a power to chase away evil and illuminate the truth. The Yin Yang Token is octagonal and is inscribed with the eight trigrams. A mirror in the center and the Yin Yang symbol on the backside. It is sometimes used in movies. When energy is instilled in the token, it can unleash the energy, again with the pronouns, to chase away or destroy evil. However, it is also said that simply reflecting light off the bronze mirror can yield the same effect. Our school also has an N yin-yang token on display in the history room. You know, hint, hint. So, okay, let's do this. First of all... Boom. Oh god. Y'all yeah, get right on that. Also, I heard the janitor's whistle, so I better haul ass. Oh, already, huh? Great. Spirit bell. A bell that makes a clear sound. Apparently, this will allow me to go back into building two. Which is kind of nice, because I've been trapped in the new building so far. And the damn Elrods. Yeah. Now, I can't use the Elrods yet. I actually must complete the light puzzle first. Which means... 
Where's the janitor? There he is. Can I sneak past him? I'm thinking no. However, school store. I've just never been in here. If I find a, a pen, then I'm gonna make use of it. Pen? No, but I'll happily take the food. Surprise, food in the cafeteria. I would really like a pen, though. Oh. That's good, but I would really like the pen. The janitor is going above me. I'll follow him, it's fine. Now we'll see if he uh, turned off the lights in the rooms I investigated. I hope not. That sound, goddamn. Oh, this guy's devilish. He totally did. That's okay, though. It really is. So one is on. So I'll go back to five. And hope to God that sound is nothing. And I'm not going to get jumped. Golden. Nothing is wrong. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't know where he is. But that's okay, I can hide. What? Oh, okay. Just don't turn off the lights, buddy. This is not good. He's coming. Okay. Uh, room 8 is right here. YOLO. And now room 10. YOLO. And room... Oh, 12's right here. YOLO. Did I do it? I thought I would have done it. <laughs> well, this is good. It actually respawned me in the clock room, so I'm okay with that. I'll take my bell and my L ride. And there's also a note, I guess. Heaven's Mandate Scroll. As chaos blooms, the rise of the sun and moon will become different for each country, and panic will ensue. In the midst of all this, a true man shall come forth to set each time under a single standard. Only then will the dark river be crossed, and the sacred object be attained. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. What? Oh, he's over there. Oh, he's gonna see me. Yep, he saw me. That's fine. Now I gotta play with classroom lights. And he's still over there. Maybe I can hurry this up. That's fine, it's fine. So, one. Crap, I tried. Eight. I'm going to need to find a way to go downstairs after this. Ten. 
Unbelievable. Twelve. Boy, did I luck out. And now I'll see if I can do the uh, the final thing. I'll lose him this way, if I can get away with it. It's fine. Almost there. Bingo. Now let's hope that this works. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. And we've come full circle. And now... Bingo. That's what I wanted. The sound is something breaking coming from the main hall. Now I just have to avoid the janitor. There. The new building rooftop key. Good, and while the janitor's going the wrong way, I'm gonna haul ass to the fourth floor and do one of the more frustrating parts of the game. The good news is that it should, emphasis on should, be without the janitor's interference. I hope. Because I really can't handle anything with the janitor at this point. Oh, wait a minute. No, I think I am doing it right. Oh, no. I have to go into the other side. It's not fair. Alright. Gotta follow the janitor, I guess. Well, you know, while I'm here, I'll check, but I don't think this is going to work. Well, no, I'm on the wrong side. i got to follow the janitor. Lousy freaking janitor, man, I tell you. I guess I'll just have to be super quiet when I'm going to the roof. You know, it really is a genuine shame. So many of these classrooms have items, but there's creepy crawly ghost. In original white day, that thing would have been gone. Oh. Now you know what? I'll attract him because I have no choice. And then I could escape him by looping around and then going upstairs where he came from. Not a problem. We got this. Okay, now I quietly escape. I'll take that tranquilizer. And now I just pray he doesn't follow me, because if he does, then I'm dead. And... We are at the rooftop, and this part sucks. Oh, is this the pond? This is actually totally different, then, because... Really? 
Really? Oh, wow! This is new. Oh, what? In the original game, it was just walking across a rainy rooftop, and if you mess up, then you get force pushed back to the beginning. But this? Hello. Okay. No. Oh, wow. There's so much scare potential here. <laughs> like you do. So this is a different way of handling the same puzzle. Whoa! What? Hello! Oh, but it doesn't push me back. It just hurts. Interesting. Good lord, man. This is clever. This is a clever way of handling it. So you see the idea. When the rods are not crossed, you can go. Uh, okay. Roundabout path. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait a minute. So I gotta deal with the ghost while doing his navigation? Oh, that's... Come on. Oh, that's... Whoa. That's considerably less cool, though. Also, let's hope the last save point was when I came in. Damn. So I gotta do this annoying navigation while putting up with the ghost? Like, how? that's way harder than the original game. I thought that that ghost was just, like, a punishment for messing up, but nope. God damn. That's really not cool, though. And there's the ghost, too bad for me. It's like, what am I supposed to do? It's just coming. Oh, it circles the perimeter? That's this thing? God, this is stressful. Uh-oh. So stay away from the edge then? Is that the gimmick too? I can do that. But like, my god, chill out. I'm just going to take a hit, I guess. Yep. Oh, for God's sake. Uh. I don't remember where the damn exit was.
Can I please leave? I'm so close. Am I there? Oh, oh. Oh my god, yes. I have a small key that I don't care about. Take that, you freak. Oh my god, what are you? But, that was the boss. Can I just jump in, or I probably just have to take the ladder, right? Got the water token. Lucky vibe, baby. All right, now for the scary part because we have we have janitor now. Right? This could easily get me killed at the last second. Can you believe it? But we're close. Yeah, he's just messing around with the classroom. She's of no threat to me anymore. Oh, I'm on the fourth floor. I need to go down a floor. I need to go down a couple floors. Uh, the stair- I really can't get around him. I'm just gonna have to dodge through rooms. Okay. Yep, we're doing this then. It's fine though, I got this. Don't need to deal with the roof anymore. That part's already taken care of. Ooh, we are close. Too bad I can't save. Here's an item. Oh my god, it actually is a felt tip pen. I might have this. That's fine. I'll let him come after me. I can always sneak past him. Easy does it. If all goes well, this actually might be our last manual save in the game. I'm okay with that. That window rattling, though, that gets me every single time. It does. See, my end game is actually... Here. Boom, baby. Like 
my child. Yeah, this is where I get the hell out. I'm not gonna look for her because she is fast. Yeah, she's booking it. However, I'm not getting any of the weird sanity effects. The music's more intense, though. This is actually a really easy run. <laughs> In the original White Day, I would see, like, my own hanging corpse along the hallway, and my camera would be just drawn to it and have to fight to look where I want to go. Oh no, I don't even need timing, I just need a quick time event. Yes. Yeah, I'm fine. No one nearly got killed just now. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine, relatively speaking. I'm glad you're okay. Why the heck was she trying to kill you? I don't know. She was babbling about her dead daughter. Jeez. Versus the more tactful option. She went crazy after her daughter died. Her dead daughter, you mean? We don't have time for this. I just heard Ji Hyun screaming in the lecture hall. I have a bad feeling. I think So Young is going to do something desperate. You get to the lecture hall, and I'll meet you there. What do you mean, meet us there? You're indicating that she has a problem in the lecture hall. Shouldn't we just go there together if the plan was... For us to go together, but, um... You hearing this? It's not fair. It really isn't. Like, the janitors are gone right now. I could explore at my leisure, but... <laughs> you know, creepy crawly ghost. I'm trying to look for sparklies from a distance. see him. I want to see if I can just like snipe these items, just run in, grab and run out. Oh. Paper crane. Got it. I guess I'll do this really quickly before closing out the installment. It does feel good to have, quote, beaten the new building. Felt a pen, hey! Excellent. Good, now I have a safety save. Any healing? I could always buy healing, but is there any free healing? Oh, I don't even need the lights on for this, but I'm turning the lights on anyway. Oh, oh, truth finder. Yondu newspaper winter issue. Dying message. A dying message refers to the last message left by a victim of a murder, and it is different from a common will in its meaning and content. The purpose of a dying message is to reveal the murderer. 
Therefore, comma, the message could provide an important clue for a murder case, but in reality, dying messages are hard to come by. Logically, it will not be easy for someone dying to leave a message. If the person were strong enough to do that, it would make sense for that person to try to find a way to live rather than write down their last words. Dying messages in the mystery novels. Mystery novels have been heavily influenced, oh, excuse me, have heavily influenced the idea of dying message to become widely known by the public. In a mystery novel, a dying message is often used as a literary device to trick readers away from the true plot. Therefore, in novels, a dying message that points straight at the culprit is often a fake one. Also, most dying messages are found in incomplete pieces or given in the form of a puzzle on which solving it becomes the main storyline. One word. Dying message in the real world. As mentioned earlier, dying messages lack practicality and they are something used in novels, but if one can look at it from a different angle, you, now it's you, could say that the diary or the notes left by the terminally ill or someone who committed suicide falls into the category of dying messages, hidden truths in dying messages. Like its long history, Yandu High School has a long list of rumors about accidents and strange happenings. Among these rumors, there are those about dying messages of the teachers and students who killed themselves. According to the rumors, in the days when the school used to have dorms, a house mother killed herself and left a dying message. That dying message is supposedly hidden somewhere in the school. Apparently, comma, the message has the passcode that can unlock the key box in the student department office. Since no one has ever seen this dying message, it cannot be confirmed. Oh, right, I'm still in the classroom. Ugh. Yeah, this game is really pushing the, I guess, like, the, the hidden Easter egg stuff potential. I wonder what you get for all that. Moving on. Moving on. And moving on. There are only two floors with classrooms, so we've almost swept it. Only two more classrooms left. I really wonder if this place is no longer haunted or if I'm just not finding the ghost. Unfortunately, the only way for me to find out would be to confirm that the ghost is there. I guess my work here is done. Alright, let's get some quick healing. The next area of the game should be the last. Or at least I'll say the last main sequence. Eh, if memory serves. Oh god, come on with this. You know what? I'll take the hit. Uh, so the school is still haunted. Great. Good to know. Thanks. Also, vending machine. Get some full heal. Marvelous. And we could save with one of our two felt pens. Oh, baby. Oh, where did I last save? Okay, let's do this. And I can still save again. That feels wonderful. For now, though, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We beat the new building. And I'll be honest, that took a bunch more tries than I would like to admit. That janitor just knows where I am. There are ways to avoid him, but... It's really tough when he's chasing you up and down the stairs. You gotta play hide-and-seek in the classrooms, and I just don't want to enter classrooms when we have the creepy crawly ghost around. But we did it, and now we're approaching endgame. Let's see how this plays out. Until next time, everyone.